everyone, this is Sunet, and in this video, we are having a look at the word miserable. So this word came up in me one evening before bed, and this does sometimes happen, where you know, just about when I'm about to rest, you know, some interesting realizations and insights um, open up within me. And this particular one opened up last night, and I reminded myself to immediately, as soon as possible, come and share the interesting points that I looked at. And it's interesting because it also very much opened up um, interesting dimensions in my personal process. And so, therefore, saw it uh, very specific to also accordingly share with you this very interesting point to guide you in your process of understanding your relationship with words within yourself. All right. So what opened up in me when I looked at the word miserable was miser and able. Okay. Miserable. Now from there played with the words and the sounding of it and looked at the, the context of enabling the miser, miserable. So, you know, here also introducing a little bit to you about how I also, you know, uh, through, you know, just um, everyday life process throughout all the years could also start playing with, with words and the sounding of them. And in doing that, it also opens up some dimensions inside myself, my personal process, that I can look at and work with. And so opening up this word and sounding it in this way, the enabling of the miser, and also understanding the principle of how emotions are accumulated within ourselves and our minds, which happens over time. I looked at the definition of miser, right, which is Miser is um, a wealthy individual who hoards their wealth and spends very little money. Now, let's have a look at that in an equal uh, parallel to the mind consciousness system, our minds. And what is the wealth of the mind? The wealth of the mind is emotional energy, energy, our thoughts, our inner dialogue our projections, our imaginations. For the mind, that is wealth. And in also taking that into consideration, now having a look at the bringing through the point of how we tend to, if we become miserable, what happens? We have actually for some time, over an extended period of time, started to collect the wealth of the mind, you know, inside of ourselves, and we have hoarded it and kept it and suppressed it, and having it remain secret within us. Um, so this was uh, quite fascinating playing with this in this way, because what I saw was the following. I looked at an example of when I accepted and allowed myself to go through an experience of being miserable. And it, it was for some time where uh, and it was in a, a, a living environment with a couple of people. And, you know, I felt like I could not, you know, express myself, be creative, be innovative. Uh, I could not naturally do something that came immediate to me. And so slowly but surely, I started thinking about it more and reacting to it more and building up this resentment and anger and frustration and suppression. And that right there, everyone, is the enabling the miser within and as yourself as the mind. You are accumulating the wealth of the mind slowly but surely without spending it. Now, what does it mean without spending it? You're not speaking about it. You know, if you spend money, what are you doing? You're using it. You are releasing it. You are exchanging. You are almost uh, you know, getting it out of yourself, your life, your wallet, your purse, your bag. You know, you're getting it out. 
So same with being miserable. What are you doing? Enabling the miser within you, which is you're building all this wealth of the mind, but you're not speaking about it. You're not writing about it. You're not directing it. You're not resolving it. You're not doing anything. You are just remaining in that state. And it's also quite cool because I'm, what also comes up for me is the, uh, the Osho card of the miser. And you see like this, this almost a very old, um, uh, decayed, vampirish uh, lady. And she's got all this wealth, you know, collected. And that's kind of also what I felt happened to me during that time, you know, where I, where I almost died. The life in me, the best in me, my potential while my mind's wealth was busy accumulating all these emotions and thoughts and inner dialogues and experiences. Um, until, you know, I, I finally realized, you know, this is in a way killing me. I need to do something about this. And then I started talking about it, writing about it, resolving it within myself, and then asked. And I realized, you know, so many interesting things that yeah, you know, I I initially didn't ask because I assumed that you know no one could do anything within a certain environment because I picked up you know little things here and there, and so I started thinking or believing that okay oh my goodness I can't touch anything when all the while what they'd said in all those little moments throughout time had nothing to do with the fact of you know actually changing the space and making something with it or about it all right so. Here to share with everyone uh, all these dimensions that opened up for me when I had a look at the word miserable. And so what you can do with it is, um, you know, what I also started doing last night is just checking through my memories and remembrances and also my everyday life now. Is there anywhere a signature or a reference to me doing this to myself at the moment right now um, that I'm not realizing or noticing? Um, and I found a couple, so I'm going to start approaching it is writing it out <laughs> or speaking it out. You know, not exist in that miserable state anymore. You know, we, we've we become so accustomed to accepting and allowing um, the least of ourselves uh, in terms of how we can really... Um, you know, make our own experience within ourselves and our lives uh, so compromising, so unpleasant, you know, not worthwhile. So for anyone who can relate to being miserable, do this, write it out, spend your wealth, okay? This is wealth that you can spend. It is the wealth of consciousness, the mind. It's not your personal wealth. Where will your personal wealth come from? And here I'm talking about in the context of life, okay? Uh, money exchange. Um, the wealth of life is within your experience and moments in your everyday life. You know, do you want to continue spending your time as enabling the miser within you? Or do you want to spend your wealth, your time as your life within you in a way of sharing it with yourself and others to become more supportive for you and others in your life experience? So the question is, What's your relationship to wealth, to the wealth of life? Are you enabling the miser within you, collecting just the wealth of consciousness and becoming that um, Osho card, the miser? I would suggest everyone look that card up because it's not a nice card and it's a good flash reminder for you. Hey, I'm turning into that. I don't want to become that. Um, or are you the wealth of life? Wealth of life, the one who starts creating and living the best life for you and others and sharing that as much as possible. Have an abundant self in life, everyone. Thank you very much.